Hey, how's it going? This is Joe and Tell. And today we're gonna be talking about Disney Plus. We just got that. Yes, we we're, did. We're with the expert, my wife. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you like Disney Plus? She likes the castle. She likes the We're castle. walking towards the castle. So, uh, yeah, we just got it. Yes. How much is it, by the way? It is six ninety nine a month. Six ninety nine. That sounds cheap. Yeah. For. I mean, we. I didn't get in on it when they had all those specials and stuff. I should have. Earn. Yeah, but it's like a three year commitment and all that. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think Chana did that. Techno Dad did yeah. that. But um, yeah, he has a video about this too. So, how much is Netflix? I think it's different plans, isn't it? Like 10, 10 It started like 10 bucks 10 though, right? Bucks now. So we've I've had Netflix forever. I mean I've had Netflix since they had like those mail-in DVDs and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I've been with Netflix for a long time. But now, you know, so here's the deal, right? We have our phone service with T-Mobile and they pay for Netflix. Yes. So that's kind of a a good thing for Disney Plus because if I had to choose. I'd probably be like, alright, buy Netflix. Yeah, especially since we have kids that are three and under. Disney Plus is the perfect, perfect thing for all for them to watch all their Disney movies and stuff. Yeah. We should go around. Okay, so we're saying. Well, yeah, we've already been watching Moana and uh, Tangled and Beauty and the Beast and all the all these things from the ball that I forget about already, but. Great. It's I didn't like this, but somebody on Facebook said it's like Netflix, but with things you want to watch. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy how much Disney actually owns. I didn't even know that they yeah. owned all this stuff. So uh, you know, I was watching some old X Men cartoons. Yeah, the '90s X Men cartoons. That was awesome. Um, but yeah. You know, Teenage of Mutant Ninja Turtles. No way, I, I tried to find I, that. I couldn't find it. I thought they had it. I think it. you just made that up. No, Matt said it. No, I, I tried to look for it. I didn't see it. Some, okay, I don't know. Matt said it. All right, we'll find <laughs> But um, yeah, as far as uh, you know, Netflix is concerned, like it's already taken care of, right? So it's paid for. So they can thank T-Mobile for me not canceling my Netflix. Yeah. Right? Um, and then also, you know, Apple TV, Apple TV you get for free, so it's like, I don't think you would have paid for that. Well, that was with my purchase, your purchase of the iPhone, correct? Yeah. I didn't even sign up for it. I don't think I'm going to. Okay. I just don't, I checked out the content and it's not anything that I'm that interested in. And I, I can't get into any shows with the kids right now. Like new shows, right? Yeah. So that's the thing I noticed about- It's hard about to watch adult shows when my awake time is when they're awake, so. Yeah, I noticed this is- yeah. Hi, Jackie. So yeah, what? <laughs> that duck is not in your foot. <laughs> the duck that's not in your foot. <laughs> All right, so what was it saying? I've never been Let's scared of a duck Let's before. Get closer. Let's get closer. The duck touched me. Oh yeah, the duck. Before the <laughs> duck touched you, we were saying basically. Um, we didn't you, know how much content Disney owned. Yeah, they own a ton of stuff, and it's not just because of our kids although of course that's a big factor but I think there's a lot of content for everybody like stuff that you recognize yeah. right um, I'm sure Netflix has a lot of new original content like you're saying I don't have time to like watch new stuff um, you need a what I need a kiss. you need a kiss uh, I, it's affordable affordable um, what else what else would you say about it? Yeah, I mean, out of all the streaming services that are out there right now, it's probably the top one for me and my family in my current situation. Yeah. How about um, Hulu? I've tried Hulu like three times, and you I just, just kept like there's maybe one show that I'm into, and okay. like then I just I cancel. I mean, what's up against Amazon Prime Video, yeah. Prime Video, uh, Netflix, Hulu. Uh, uh, I mean, even you can even get sports with with Disney Plus. Is that have, right? Yeah, ESPN. I don't know what kind of sports. But they have ESPN. I didn't see it in the app. Is it there? That's what it advertised. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So just to clarify, I just looked it up. So it says here, D Disney bundles Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus for twelve ninety nine per month. So you have to get that bundle if you want. Yeah. All of those. So yeah, we just started using it. We're using it on the Nvidia Shield right now. Um, yeah, the thing that was surprising to me, like more of the technical stuff, 
It had a lot of 4K HDR, some Dolby Vision support, which I don't have a TV that supports that, but if you did, then that's something that's cool. Also Dolby Atmos support for a lot of stuff. And so that's cool, but I noticed that it is not available on the Shield yet. I think it's just because it's, a, it's new, so they're still doing a lot of stuff, like adding stuff to the app to make it compatible with everything. Right now, I believe uh, maybe the Apple TV 4K has support for everything, but I know Xbox One and some of the other, maybe Roku uh, 4K has it. But um, yeah, that's the thing. They have a lot of stuff that's available, like um, Star Wars. They, oh, re yeah. they remastered it, so it's Dolby Atmos now. So Star Wars was always one of those things where it had like the best sound, right? It had that THX, that's where that, all that Lucasfilm, all that came from. Uh, awesome sound, and now it's remastered with Dolby Atmos, so that's cool. I'm excited to try that out when it's finally working on the shield. Um, I mean, that's basically it, right? What else would you want to say about it? Um, I just hope to see like some app improvements. Uh huh. You know, because uh, I don't know if there's like a recently watch, like a history, oh, okay. you know, things like that. Like, cause she watches certain things all the time. Like, there's one video, the lava video, that she watches on repeat. Yeah, yeah, save and it or something. So I have to, I add it to my favorites, and that's the most I can do. But it, it'd be cool to also see like a history. Right. I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. Um. um you know, just little app improvements, but as far as content goes, like, I'm super happy. Yeah. Yeah, me too. App improvements, uh, making sure it's compatible with everything. Um, I want 4K, Dolby Atmos, everything. Can you talk quickly about the parental controls? Because that's something that you said. Oh, there are, it's one switch that says kids account. And that's it. It just automatically blocks, like, stuff that... Well, I wish it was more fine-grained, like, that I could... You know, because there's different levels, P, G, G, you know, mm. and I wish I could have some more control over that. Right, right. There isn't yet. So they do have a free trial if you want to try it I out. I don't know if it's 14 or 30, or 30 days, something like that. But yeah, you can just try it out. Sure. There you go. So yeah, a lot of content in 4K. Uh, stuff like old movies that I used to watch, like Aladdin, I've watched a million times. Sandlot. But But it's the first time I've ever watched it that clear. So that was surprising to me. Um, it was in 4K HDR, it was, it's kind of crazy seeing everything that clear. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it for sure, uh, especially if you have kids. And make sure to check out my buddy Chana's video. He has a video maybe talking about more of the technical stuff with when it comes to uh, uh, Disney Plus. So anyway, that's it. Take care, bye-bye.